All right, here we have this exponential function, but notice the difference on this one. This is x equals 4 to the power of y, which means that what we really have is an in, inverted function, right? I mean, we could solve for x in this case, but there's not really any need to, and we haven't really learned that stuff yet in this class. All right, so this, the exponent isn't adding or subtracting anything. And we're not adding or subtracting anything to the base or the exponential right there. But the difference on this one is I'm not really choosing values of x like we were on those last few problems. What I'm really doing is choosing values of y and then solving for x. So I can start with 0, negative 1, negative 2, 1, 2, and 3. Some of these are going to be too big anyways, but whatever. Uh, solving for these... So 4 to the power of 0 is 1, 4 to the power of negative 1 is 1 fourth, 4 to the power of negative 2 is 1 16th. All right, you guys should know how to find those. 4 to the power of 1 is 4, 4 to the power of 2 is 16, 4 to the power of 3 is 64. Not that I needed that because this point's not going to fit on the graph anyways. But at least we can see the behavior of this thing. It's possible they may give you different graphs, which would fit these on the homework. So let's graph all these points then. I got 0, I'm sorry, 1, 0. So that would be this point. Then I've got 4, 1. And 16, 2 won't fit, but it'd be way over there. So let's go to the negative. So y is negative 1, and then we've got 1 fourth. Somewhere in that range. And then we're just looking at points that are getting closer to this y-axis. Well, I feel pretty ready to draw that line then. So it's going to get really close to that line. And then this one is going to go you know, something like that. A little sloppy, but I think it looks pretty.